Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We have uh, Diecast News and update for today's episode. We'll talk about the latest cars from uh, Hot Wheels, also updates from Mini GT. And uh, yeah, hope you will enjoy this one. Uh, before we proceed with the news, please don't forget to like and uh, also subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you are new, we do news most of the time and uh, I also do like uh, reviews and uh, of diecast cars. So, anyways, let's start off first with the new pre order announcement from Mini GT. These are available, of course, for pre orders right now. We got six outstanding cars in here. Um, starting off first with this pretty good one, which is this really awesome Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Uh, v spec Bayside Blue. This is uh, available in right hand drive. And uh, if you remember correctly, uh, Mini GT did release like almost exactly the same Skyline uh, a few months back. I think there's some slight differences, and uh, I think one is the 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 first release was that it it had like a, a small I don't know if that was a hood scoop or not but yeah right here on this side so I don't know what what else is different between this one and the first blue R34 that they had uh, if you remember let me know in the comment section down below um, all of these right here will be priced at around close to like 10 to 11 US dollars which is I, I think a uh, pretty good pretty good price point for this uh, we have right here an Aston Martin Val Valkyrie uh, in hyper red this is a left hand drive variant and honestly man I don't really collect this casting and uh, it's because I really uh, don't have that much knowledge about the car but I, I still think yeah it's a it's a pretty uh, pretty good looking car but yeah still I, I will not be buying this so um, moving on this one out a black McLaren 720s got uh, a yeah, Liberty walk McLaren 720s here looks absolutely freaking amazing I love this I love the form factor I love like the all black look it's a like super shiny and i like it love the wheels also and same thing this is like 10 to 11 us dollars so yeah this is a winner i will be buying this in store hopefully i can find it uh plus yeah triple seven good luck number for me <laughs> uh next up we have this nissan z pandem uh really cool looking in blue and man yeah this is so clean i love the wheels also but i don't know man it's like one of the cars that i like but still haven't bought one i don't know why <laughs> uh i may try out the if i think they they have like a china exclusive release one with a comic book i've seen a couple of ones online so i don't know i'm still thinking whether to buy it or not but yeah this is a good one then Lamborghini Huracan Cerato Verde looks nice right here and right now I mean I have stayed away for the time being from Lamborghinis because there's just so much of them not just from this brand Mini GT but uh, a lot of brands so it's hard to to keep track with the Lambos because there's just so much uh, it's like the 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 European side of JDM if you know what if you get what I mean so yeah for for now staying away with the Lambos but yeah this is so so freaking good also but I have to control myself uh, next up yeah this one I will buy and this is the only one that I have actually pre-ordered in this wave the Porsche 911 the car uh, this looks amazing man so we got the accessories right here the the roof rack 
it's also nice I love the colorway and man that is amazing so anyways these are the cars from mini GT um, again 10 to 11 dollars a piece pre-order deadline will be June 3 of uh, of course this year and estimated time of arrival September of this year so let's check out the cars here from uh, Hot Wheels yeah thanks to Ministry of Diecast for this check out the Diora 2 from the then and now series so yeah new one right here and uh, this is for the L case for this year looks on fire uh, in my opinion and I like it man I like this one a lot like not the this is not the old school Diora so this is like uh, a newer Diora hence the name Diora 2 <laughs> Um, yeah you still have like the surfboard here but yeah it's freaking good I love the colorway uh, I really love the livery on this then um, this is a regular treasure hunt uh, for the L case the Cardi Asada from the fast foodie series so I really don't buy this casting at all but um, I think it's a cool one and cool cool uh, fact about this is like this was or this is uh, designed by Ryu Asada the late great Ryu Asada and uh, check out the treasure hunt logo right here it's tiny it's above the yeah this one as you see so man yeah pretty cool I mean even the regular treasure hunts from where I live they th so hard to find right now they used to be uh, quite easy to find but now with so many like new collectors I mean not really collectors uh, most of them are are uh, scalpers uh, they ju just tend to gobble up uh, even like the fantasy casting regular treasure hunt check out uh, more new Hot Wheels cars right here. So for GT40 is amazing. By the way, thanks to Ajib Nobi for this. And I really like this colorway for the for GT40. I love like the livery. I think this is like for me one of the best colors of the for GT40. Yeah, lovely livery also in this and uh no details here at the back and no tail light details but it does have like a lot of details side top so moving on uh this is a cool gmc cyclone i love the livery reminds me of the 80s with these like color combination livery looks nice uh but yeah it doesn't have front details however it does have some details here at, at the back pretty good details i should say i mean not the best but for a, a mainline release still pretty pretty cool um also right here this is the the mainline release or the yeah the non-super treasure hunt uh, version of the 1996 nissan 180sx check out the colorway uh yeah i like this like a baby blue color uh i think the super treasure hunt version of course is so much better i mean not a lot of details for this car even the super treasure hunt version as you see right here but yeah check out the differences between both i mean like this 180sx super treasure hunt is is like one of the uh more simple like super treasure hunts for for this year also the vespa man is uh such a nice looking uh casting from from hot wheels uh i i have like the the red one so this is like another one that i need to hunt and this is the new color variant looks nice not a lot of details you can put on with the bikes but yeah, it's such a cool cute little casting that they have so yeah anyways uh that's our update hope you enjoy this one or oh, what are your favorite castings what are your favorite cars in this let me know in the comment section down below 
and yeah hope to see you on our next episode thank you for watching everyone and have a great day uh see you next time bye bye